This is the NEET 2019 question on capacitors. It says two identical capacitors C1 and C2, though they were named as C1 and C2, they are actually same. You can call them as C and C itself. Of equal capacitance C is shown connected as shown. Terminal of A and B and K are connected to charge capacitor C1. See, this is the first case what he is saying A and B are connected using a battery of EMFV. Uh, now, this is moved instead of A and B, now B and C are connected in the second case. What will be the loss of energy in this case? So, let us first talk about when terminals of A and B are connected, what happens? So, now let us, see, let us see the part that only A and B are connected. This is how it is connected now. When A and B are connected, it is obvious that C2 is not in connection. The second capacitor is not in connection. Only one capacitor C1 is in connection with the potential difference V and you want about the energy loss. So, I can say energy stored in this case E1 can be written like half C V square where capacity is C of this capacitor and V is the voltage that is available when A and B are connected. Now, let us go to the next part. When B and C are connected. So, you have to understand carefully that now A and B are no more connected. This C has already got charged. So, before B and C are connected as A is connected uh, to the battery, what we can say is by this time by this time C1 has got charged. Charge to what? Q equal to Cv. Now that is disconnected from here, it is disconnected and now connected to Bc. So, be careful when it was connected this way, this C, first capacitor C is not empty, it is already had a charge Q. Now, it is connected to other capacitor. So, if you see this case, this C1 and C2 are obviously in parallel. So, in parallel what happens is the potential remains the same and the charge is distributed. Now, what happens is Q of C1 is now shared between C1 and C2. Of course, all are same. But we know charge is conserved Q total equal to Q1 plus Q2. Q total equal to as I told Cv. Q1 equal to C1 V1. But C1 is C V dash. Q2 equal to C V dash. As both of them are parallel, they get a common potential V. You know, in parallel combination, uh, potential remains same and charge is getting distributed. That's what we are doing now. So, C V equal to V dash of C plus C is 2 C. So, what we can say is V dash equal to V by 2. So, what is the thing that we need to understand is when it is removed from A and B and connected to B C, voltage that is available as V is now shared across both the capacitors as V by 2. As voltage is shared, now I can get new energy stored in the capacitor. Let us write the new energy stored in the capacitor. Energy of system now is energy in the first capacitor and energy in the second capacitor. In the first capacitor half C V is V by 2 as we have derived. The second capacitor again half capacity is C V is V by 2 whole square. So, this value is half C V square by 4 and half C V square by 4. 
both are same. So, 2 times of half C V square by 4. So, 1 2 will cancel C V square by 4. I can write C V square by 4 as 1 by 2 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 C V square. But 1 by 2 C V square this is E dash is nothing but initial energy. So, you can say E dash E is half times of E 1. It has only half the energy present means half the energy is obviously lost. That means energy lost is half. Earlier E 1 is there, now only half E 1 is there. That means percentage of energy lost is as half is only present, half is lost, that half is nothing but 50 percent. So, the percentage of energy lost is 50 percent. This is how we have to solve the problem. Thank you for watching.